What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and people ask me all the time, what is the best drone? And I don't know that that is the question you should be asking. The question you should be asking is, what is the best drone for me? And that depends on a few things. What is your purpose for the drone and what is your budget, right? There are a lot of drones out there and I've flown most of them. So, so I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what I think is the best drone specifically for taking good pictures and video. There are a lot of different reasons to fly, but I think for most people, they want a drone that can capture good aerial photography and videography. So I'm gonna focus on that aspect here in this video. I have other videos if you're just looking to fly for fun, you don't really care about pictures and videos, or if you wanna get into FPV, first person, fast flying, uh, that's a totally different thing. What we'll look at here are drones that take good pictures and videos, and I'm gonna start at $100 and kind of move up in small increments. There are some big differences between spending $100 on a drone, $500 on a drone, or $2,000 on a drone. So we'll break that down for you and hopefully you'll figure out which one is the best for you. Now I'm going to talk about things like range and flight time. Now keep in mind I'm going to be quoting the manufacturer's flight time and range and those are generally overstated because they're only in perfect conditions which of course nobody flies in. So uh, for flight time you can kind of cut that uh, down by between 10 and 20 percent and range well that really is hard to predict. It matters how you fly, when you fly, where you fly, uh, all sorts of different things. Just note you're probably not gonna fly that far. Plus you have to keep the drone within your visual line of sight. That is a rule in the United States and in other countries as well. Also, there are a handful of drones on this list that are less than 250 grams, and that's actually kind of an important number. In the United States, 250 grams is the magic number. If your drone weighs more than 250 grams, you have to register it and it has to have remote ID in order to fly legally. If you're under 250 grams, you don't have to register and you don't have to worry about remote ID. So I'll point that out as well. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what is the best drone for you. All right, so before we get into this, I'm not just a hack on YouTube uh, making drone videos. I run a class, I teach drones and photography, and I've flown a whole lot of drones. So when I make this list, it's not just haphazard. I'm not Googling things on the internet. This is both from personal experience and a whole lot of research. I am also a certified 107 pilot, and if you want to fly professionally, that's something you're gonna have to do. I've got information on how to do that, and I actually teach people how to do that as well. So make sure you check the link down below for information on that, or if you're interested in buying any of these drones, they are affiliate links and they help support this channel. This is not my day job, I do this for fun and to help you guys out, so check that out. So without further ado, let's get into it. This guy right here is the Rise Tello, and this is the drone that I would recommend if your budget is about $100. It is an excellent beginner drone. This has an HD camera, a 12 minute flight time, and a range of only about 100 meters, right? This isn't the best drone you can get, but it is an excellent thing to learn to fly on. It has some sensors on the bottom that make it super stable, um, and even the pictures and images are stabilized electronically. There's no gimbal on this thing, so it's not going to produce really great video, but usable video, and it's an excellent tool to learn how to fly. It does have a handful of intelligent flight modes, so you can do things like orbits and up and aways with this drone, and it's even programmable. So if you want to learn how to code, you can do some drag and drop code with this thing. And actually I use this in class to teach students how to code. This is an awesome little drone, great for beginners. It's less than 250 grams, uh, but not the best for taking pictures and video. This is best suited as a learning tool. Now the next drone on my list is this. This is the Seafly Faith Mini, Mini 1, and it's just under 200 bucks, and it's a pretty solid drone. Um, it is, yes, less than 250 grams, so again, you don't have to register this thing with the FAA. Now it does have a much better camera than the Tello. Uh, this is actually sitting on a three-axis gimbal, and gimbals are important because they help stabilize the video. This is a really impressive camera for less than $200. Now it will shoot 4K video, but only at 15 frames a second, and that's pretty choppy. I'd actually recommend shooting in 2.7K. You're gonna get a pretty solid image at 25 frames a second. It's pretty darn good. The Faith Mini here has a flight time of up to 26 minutes and a range of 3,000 meters. That's just shy of two miles. It does also have some intelligent flight modes, uh, making this a really good beginner drone that isn't going to break the bank. Certainly an excellent tool to learn on if you want something a little more comparable to some of the higher end drones that I'm gonna mention later. 
Seafly is actually working on a Mini 2 version of this drone with a better camera, but that thing's gonna cost about $250, and I think I have a better option for you for right around 300 bucks. At $300, I really like this drone. This is the Xiaomi Fimi X8 Mini version two, and it is kind of important that you get the version two of this Mini. It is a much better drone than the original. There are a couple of different battery options with the Mini. One will give you 31 minutes of flight time, the other will give you 37, but I actually want the smaller battery with 31 minutes because that keeps this drone under 250 grams. The range on this thing is an impressive 9,000 meters. That's about five and a half miles. I do really like this camera. Again, three axis gimbal, 4K, 30 frames a second. And it is a actually a really good camera. Not quite professional grade quality, but I do think this drone could do in a pinch if say you were a real estate photographer and your main drone was malfunctioning, this guy would certainly perform well as a backup. I think this is an excellent drone for a weekend warrior. Uh, you know, you're looking to get good pictures and video on a family vacation. I think this is ideal because it's super small, compact, less than 250 grams, and you can pretty much take it with you anywhere you go. It also has a, a handful of intelligent flight modes that return to home, follow me, all the things you're probably looking for in a drone. This is a really good buy for 300 bucks. And I think right now Xiaomi's running deals on Amazon, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. Of course, we've got links down below for that. So between $300 and $600, there are a handful of different options, but I'm not sure that I would recommend them. I do like the Mini 3, the standard, at like $470, that's a good drone. But really, that's kind of hard for me to recommend when I think the Mini 4 Pro is such a better drone at $750. Uh, the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, and the Mini 4 Pro all share the same camera. Camera. So kind of keep that in mind. And I guess, you know, if you don't need obstacle avoidance or the really super awesome range that you get with the 3 or the 4 Pro, uh, maybe the Mini 3 is the way to go. But I do like the extra features you get on the Mini 3 Pro. And I think if you're going to spend that much money on a drone, you should go all in. Um, and if you don't want to spend, you know, $750 on a drone, I think the $300 Femi or even the Mini 2 SE at $350 might be better options. So we're going to skip ahead to $750, and that is where the best drone under 250 grams lies, and that is the Mini 4 Pro. The Mini 4 Pro is an impressive little beast. It is absolutely the best drone you can get that weighs less than 250 grams. It has an awesome 4K camera on a 3-axis gimbal, and you can shoot both horizontally and vertically. So if you're doing things like TikTok or Instagram and you want vertical video, this is the best drone for that. The Mini 4 Pro is the first drone I'd recommend with full obstacle avoidance. It has sensors in the front and the rear to help kind of avoid bumping into trees or power lines or things that you might miss while you're flying. It has an incredible 20,000 meter range. That's like 12.4 miles. That is incredible. It also has a flight time of 34 minutes or you can opt for the extended battery. Now that'll push you over 250 grams, but you get 47 minutes of flight time with that. It's got a bunch of intelligent flight modes, including active track. The Mini 4 Pro is really an impressive drone. And yes, I think this is something that uh, professionals or semi-professionals could use um, as their main drone. I'd probably still recommend one of the next couple of drones if you're going pro, but gosh, at $750, the Mini 4 Pro is pretty darn awesome. Okay, so right around $1,000, we've got this. This is the DJI Air 3. And yeah, there are some pretty solid options around $1,000, but this one, this one is the one that I would recommend. It's got two cameras, and they're both pretty fantastic. Now this drone is over 250 grams, so you will have to register it, um, and it is remote IT compliant. You don't have to add modules or anything like that with this drone. It has an impressive 20,000 meter range. Again, that's over 12 miles and a flight time of 46 minutes. Super impressive. Now you can shoot 4K video with this up to 100 frames per second. You've got all the intelligent flight modes you might want, uh, active track, this thing has full obstacle avoidance, return to home, you, you name it, this thing has it. It is awesome, it is impressive, um, and it's super easy to fly. Now the two cameras, we've got a standard wide angle lens and a telephoto lens, and they both have a one over 1 1.3 inch sensor. So they have the same sensor size, which just makes 
uh, switching between cameras awesome. So if you want, you know, a good uh, expansive wide field of view, you got that. Or if you really want to zoom in and uh, kind of focus closer on your subject, you can do that as well with just a push of a button. I really like this drone, super stable, super easy to fly, and it absolutely captures excellent pictures and video. I think this drone is perfect for pretty much everyone from uh, the weekend warrior to the professional. This one will do the job absolutely. You can shoot and log and things like that and capture even more detail. But I think the standard color profiles coming out of this drone are pretty impressive. Love this drone. This might be the drone that I'd recommend to most people. If you're really looking to get into drone photography and videography on any sort of serious level. All right, so this is the last drone I'm gonna talk about. This is the DJI Mavic 3, and there are a handful of different Mavic 3 options. We have the Mavic 3 Classic, which is about $1,600. The Mavic 3, kind of like the standard, which has two cameras, and then the Mavic 3 Pro, which has three cameras. And then there are cinema packages or cine packages that add some extras like a terabyte uh, hard drive and some software like ProRes 422. But that one jumps to like four grand. And I think the one that you probably want of the Mavic 3 series is the Mavic 3 Pro. Now the Mavic 3 Classic is great, uh, but it only has that one camera. It is a fantastic camera, a micro four thirds inch sensor, which just means you're gonna get excellent pictures and video even in low light situations that is where this guy shines absolutely um, in lower light situations this is the best drone that i'm going to mention today um, in terms of picture and video in all situations but specifically if you need to take pictures and video at night dusk or dawn this is the drone you want and those are the times that you want to capture video. During that period of civil twilight, you get some really nice colors coming off the horizon, um, and this drone just does a, an excellent job of capturing that. Now, depending on the model you get, you're gonna get between 43 and 46 minutes of flight time, and it has a 15,000 meter range. That's over nine miles. You can shoot video in up to 5.1K. Yes, that's better than 4K. Um, and we're gonna do that at 50 frames a second if you're looking to. Uh, really, this drone is fantastic. I love this thing. And if you need professional grade stuff in lots of different situations, go with the Mavic 3 Pro. With its three cameras, you get a wide angle lens, a tele, a medium tele lens, and a full tele lens. So you can zoom, I think up to 28 times. That's pretty darn impressive. It has all the intelligent flight modes you'd need, plus even extra cameras for a full 360 degree obstacle avoidance. Now the classic version of this drone is like $1,600. Uh, the 3 Pro is about 2,100 bucks, right? And then of course the Cine package is upwards of 4,800. The Mavic 3 Pro really is the version that I would recommend. It is so good with those three cameras, including that giant micro four thirds inch sensor. And that is what I'd recommend to any professional or anybody looking to get into uh, drone videography and photography. If you want the best, this is the best. I take that back. Sure, you could probably get an Inspire, but does everyone have $20,000 to plop down on a drone? Probably not, right? Two grand and your pictures and videos coming out of this thing, I'd put them up against that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I've got plenty of videos on other drones, right? So if you're looking for something with a little more oomph, right? Some FPV stuff, we've got the Avada, you wanna follow me drone, we've got the, the Hover Air. There are so many different options out there, right? Some real FPV rippers. Uh, what if you're just looking for more options under a hundred bucks? Yeah, I got a video for that, $200, you bet, $300. Absolutely. Um, you know, some of these drones that I mentioned, they're DJI drones, right? How do they compare um, side by side? I've done that video. And actually, I've got a video on drones that are not made by DJI. Some people don't like DJI drones because of the geofencing or whatnot. Um, I've got a video coming out on the best drones that are not made by DJI. So if you want something different, make sure you check that out, right? Tons of videos. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. I love to be interactive with uh, my viewers. So throw a comment down below. Is there a drone that isn't on this list that you think should be? Let me know. Or just in general, what do you think about my list of drones? Now, don't forget, if you're interested in buying any one of these drones, we've got links down below. Uh, they're affiliate links. They don't cost you a thing, but they help support this channel. And if you want to get into professional videography, make sure you check out our content on part 107. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.